All right, we're here in Las Vegas at the SEMA show. We're in front of the Oracle Lighting booth. We're gonna take you in and show you some of our new products. All right, so in the booth this year, we have a 2020 Wrangler 392 Rubicon. We've got a lot of Oracle lighting products on here, including our Oculus True 9-inch Bi-LED headlights. This is a new switchback version. So you get this pure white daytime running light. Then when you turn on the turn signals, let me show you. The halo switches to an amber light, so the headlight does both the daytime running light and amber turn signal feature. And that's really convenient if you decide to get rid of the factory lights and the fenders because you have both the daytime running light and amber light in the headlights now. It's using the same Oculus technology that's been so popular up until now, just adding that amber feature. So the next thing we want to show you is something that we just came out with. It's our LED skid plate. So this is a true 3 8 inch uh, steel skid plate. Uh, it protects your uh, power steering and sway bars and everything, but it also adds a functionality of a high-powered LED lighting system here. And this lighting system, we use these really high-powered individual emitters. And the nice thing about this, opposed to running something like a LED light bar, is that if you did hit a rock or had something come up and damage this, the whole LED light bar could potentially be damaged. In this case, if one of these gets damaged, those individual modules are interchangeable. So uh, this is something that just came out. We're just starting to ship units. And so uh, we've got this in our uh, regular white LED, as well as an amber or yellow. Uh, kind of if you're driving a lot through snow or fog, the amber or yellow really uh, works well for that. So uh, we're uh, looking forward to uh, starting to sell some of these and getting more customer feedback. The next thing on this Wrangler that's uh, been really getting a lot of attention while we're here at SEMA is our sidetrack LED system. So the sidetrack light gives you the nice uh, white entry light, but then when you hit the turn signal, you also get an amber uh, turn signal, which is really nice because on the Wrangler or the Gladiator, uh, your only turn signal is way in the front, which you can't see from the side, and then way in the back, which you really can't see from the side either. So having this right here, if you ever try to change lanes, you got someone next to you, it's right there in the blind spot, it's functional, and then when you get out or get in the vehicle, you have this nice entry light that shows you what's on the ground next to your vehicle. Something that's found in most modern uh, SUVs. So uh, we're just taking those features and implementing it into a package that basically just attaches right onto the side of the vehicle. We got two wires that you tap into the factory system and you're good to go. And something else that uh, we rolled out uh, earlier this year, but we didn't have a chance to debut because it was SEMA 360 last year, is our LED Starliner panel. So this is basically a set of acoustic panels that we have installed inside the Jeep here. And uh, they do a good job of quieting down the interior. You know, the residents of a Jeep, they tend to be really loud on the interior. But we've also integrated these fiber optic individual lights, which creates a starlight pattern. So. Uh, this is totally controlled uh, through a uh, uh, remote control where basically you can uh, select the color you want, the pattern, if you want the lights to be dim or bright. And the nice thing about this is because it's not a single point of light, it's like hundreds of points of light. While you're driving at night, you can leave it on and it just provides ambient light and it's not distracting. And it looks really cool. You know, a lot of people would come by and they look and they're like, whoa, you know, it's stars. It kind of looks like the, uh, the Rolls Royce that has the, the Starlight uh, headliner. That's kind of where the inspiration came from th uh, with this. So another really cool product that we've got out here at SEMA. But perhaps the most exciting new product that we have here at the SEMA show are our Jeep JL flush mount tail lights. So these are a brand new product. We uh, just installed them here at SEMA. It was such a new product that it didn't even make roll in. And uh, we're really excited about these because as you can see, they are, as you can imagine, flush to the body. and. Uh, really made this whole package a whole lot tighter than what you get from the factory. And why that's important is because when you're going down trails or rock crawling, you know, sometimes there's obstacles and you can break a tail light. And for us, we kind of experienced this the first time we took our JL on a trail. And unfortunately, what it did is when the tail light hit a tree, it actually crumpled uh, in the fender and kind of made a mess of things. So uh, that wasn't the, the aha moment to make a flush tail light. It actually was months later when uh, we saw other people were having the same issue. So, uh, the tail light came out great as far as being really flush and really compact. It presents a lot of design challenges, it presents a lot of engineering challenges, which we're able to luckily overcome and create something that's really not only aesthetically pleasing, but I mean, it's super functional. So you have uh, this signature LED light here. So instead of just being a square with a single bulb lighting it up, you actually have a, like a, a signature light and then uh, you've got a high powered LED brake light, running lights. But what's uh, really cool is the reverse light because the reverse light's like seven or eight times brighter than what the factory lights are. So you get these really bright 
LED reverse lights, which helps you back up at night, makes the camera functionality way better because at night, the rear view camera actually works a whole lot better when it's got more LED light output. And we've got a way to uh, basically transfer over the sensors. So if you have uh, the factory cross traffic sensors, uh, blind spot monitoring sensors, you can swap those over into these tail lights so you're not losing any of those factory features when you swap over to these lights. So uh, we plan on shipping these probably in the early 2022. Um, retail price is $399. And uh, we also have a real similar product available uh, for the Gladiator, which we've already began shipping. So a good complement to these tail lights, if you like to be able to see when you're backing up, is our LED reverse lights. So these basically install into the factory rear bumper. There's a reflector here from the factory that comes out. Our light goes in. It taps into the tail light reverse light wiring or to the uh, trailer wiring, whichever is easier. And uh, yeah, it, it, between the reverse lights on these tail lights and the reverse lights in the bumper, you're gonna have no problem backing up at night because you're creating, uh, you know, basically uh, as much illumination as you have on the front of the vehicle, on the back of the vehicle backing up. So yeah, they pair well together. They look great. You know, what's not to like? While we're on the back of the vehicle. Let's check out our LED cargo light. So basically, this replaces the factory windshield wiper cover that's back here. Two screws come out, install our part, two screws go in. And what we do here is basically provide some good functional lighting. So if you've ever like tried to access your gear in the back of your Wrangler, or you go camping and you're trying to like hang out in the back of the vehicle, there's no dome light back here to really provide any light. So you gotta get a flashlight out and you're digging through all your stuff. What this does is we have Two lights, so we've got a light that shines down, gives you some area light, you know, a scene light, and then yet you actually have a light here that shines into the cargo area. So we got a whole bunch of junk back here that we've had for the SEMA show. We can see what we need to get to, we can find everything, because we got good functional light going in the vehicle and outside the vehicle. The other cool feature about this is that we have a high mount warning light here. So, like let's say you have a broken down on the side of the road, you're changing a tire or something like that, you've got the swing gate open, it's blocking this tail light, you got someone helping you change the tire, they're blocking that tail light. You know, maybe another vehicle approaching doesn't see your hazards on. With this, a high mount light like this, there's no way another vehicle is not going to see you. So it's a really cool functional thing that maybe you never have to use, but it's there if you ever need it. So installation, I'd say is pretty simple. All you have to do is replace the factory part here. You run your cable down, here we include the little wire ties for you to be able to uh, attach the uh, wires down and then you plug it in to the uh, lighter adapter here. So can't really get any easier than that and then you control everything through the buttons right there. So cool product, easy to install and uh, yeah, it's it's got a lot of functionality to it so you can't beat it. The only other uh, products we want to touch on real quick is we've got our LED third brake light and this has a spare tire to leave, but if you had a spare tire, we also offer a spare tire LED ring that goes in there. So when you hit the brakes, the rear uh, spare tire lights up, which is really nice if you have something like a 35 or a 37, you can't any longer use a factory light. You can put the ring inside there, light it up. It's been a uh, pretty popular product. There's other people that offer it, but ours is a little bit brighter, a little bit different than what else is on the market. So we've shown you everything that's on the Jeep. We've got some products over here that are so new, they're not even available yet. So we've got some prototypes that we could actually share with you today. One of which, while we're on the Jeep uh, JL and Gladiator topic, is our uh, side LED mirror cover. So basically, you would uh, pop off the factory mirror cover and reattach our product here, which uh, gives you an LED light bar in the side mirrors. And so why is that important? When we design some sort of LED light, we wanna make sure that it almost looks factory. Like, we don't wanna just bolt a bunch of lights all over the vehicle. Uh, it's nice if it really looks almost like it came from the factory that way. So with this, you have almost like an OE style cover and the LEDs are integrated in there pretty seamlessly. And uh, what's great about the mirrors is that your side mirrors are really the only part of the vehicle that's designed to be within the driver's field of vision. Normally, you just want to have the driver have as much view as possible, but the mirrors are in a position where it creates really good peripheral visibility. So by attaching it to the front side of the mirror, we're creating really nice peripheral visibility. So this doesn't necessarily overlap with your headlights, it doesn't overlap with your fog lights, it doesn't overlap with any other light bars you have on the vehicle. It's projecting light outward. So this is really helpful on the trails at night. It's helpful if you're rock crawling at night, uh, you know, because peripheral visibility is also really important. So we're hoping to start shipping these uh, quarter one of 2022. Uh, so we'll have more information coming out real soon. But we, of course, already offer that for the JK Wrangler as well as a Ford F-150 uh, for multiple model years as well. And uh, while we're on the subject of off-road lights, we've got our new auxiliary lights here. So these are really cool. We have a nine inch and seven inch. Nine inch is 120 watts of output. 
seven inches 60. And uh, we've got basically like a, you know, call it a parking light, call it a daytime running light, whatever you want feature where you can have uh, these white lights on as a, a uh, marker light. And then we also have an amber light, which could be used as a marker light. It could be used as a turn signal light if you wanted to connect to your turn signals and have that incorporated somehow. What's really kind of unique and interesting about this light is that you have your spotlight in the middle. It kind of gives you an idea without blinding anybody. You got your spotlight in the middle to create that really tight beam. And then around the outside, you have these down firing LEDs that create the more of a flood effect. So you get a true combo beam. Instead of trying to fit that combo beam, come through one set of optics, We've got two totally different types of optics here that are creating that beam. So you get really nice light output, a really nice durable fixture, heavy duty brackets. It's a really nice overall uh, package. If you can't, if you don't have room for a nine inch, the seven inch also works really well. Not quite as bright, not as, as many watts, but it's a much smaller package so you could potentially run more of them. So uh, we just rolled these out. We're very excited about them and we will have uh, more information in the link in this video. Off-roaders, of course, uh, are going to be familiar with the next product. It's our LED rock lights. So we've been selling these for a long time, very popular product. But what we introduced earlier this year is our white LED rock lights. So if you're not into colors and you're really using these for wheeling or just white's your kind of color that you like, the white LED rock lights are extremely bright. We're using the same high quality LEDs and ICs and all the components as some of the guys that are charging upwards of $100 per pod but we're selling it for a much lower price point. So you get the same quality, get the same performance without having to break the bank. And uh, another cool feature we have on this is that we are, have our LED rock light magnets that uh, really are, <laughs> are really strong. So basically, like if you were going to try to install this rock light on this piece of frame rail here, you would have to drill through the frame, you'd have to put the bolt through, you'd have to get, especially if this is a box frame, it'd be hard to get a nut on the back side of it. With our uh, magnet uh, adapters, basically, you can take it, stick it, and drop the magnet right on there. Super simple installation. It takes uh, 40 pounds of pull force to remove the magnet, so it's not just gonna fall off on its own. Uh, but yeah, uh, this has uh, been really popular. Uh, we sell it in a set of four rock lights. It includes the cables, it includes a wiring hub, it includes everything you need to do the installation. All right, so while we're on the topic of Jeep, we of course gotta talk about the Oracle Vector Grill. So, this is something that we developed a couple years ago. It's been very popular. I uh, re received a SEMA uh, new product award. And uh, you know, with, with this product, a lot of people will look at it and they assume that this is an aesthetic uh, product, that it was something that was just designed to look cool. But really, uh, the features of this grill is that we were trying to design a headlight that had adjustable uh, low beam and driving beam. So you could really create a good pattern of light on the ground without affecting the field of vision of other drivers. And so it was really hard to fit that into a seven inch housing. So uh, we looked at it and said, well, what if we didn't have to fit into a seven inch housing? What if we could really make those modules individual uh, and basically individually adjust each one of them and position them in a way that it would cause less glare. And ultimately, this is what came from that functional uh, sort of a, uh, thought exercise that we were doing. And uh, in that process, we also added a daytime running light. And the daytime running light has this cool startup feature. So when you start the vehicle, it does that startup feature, and then when you have your low beams on, you've got your driving lights down here and your low beams up here that create that, uh, you know, basically your, your pattern that you drive with, and then you also have a high beam inboard here that has that high beam that really uh, creates a, a lot of light on the road. But yeah, the Vector Grill, it's uh, pretty simple to install. It looks like a lot's going on here, but it all plugs into the factory harness. You don't have to do any kind of special wiring. Uh, the factory grill comes off, this one goes in its place. It's really a straightforward install. It should take about an hour to install. We make it for the JK, as well as the JL and Gladiator. So uh, definitely something that's very eye-catching, maybe not for everybody, but if you don't want to do a full replacement grill, that's all right, because we also offer some really impressive Bi-LED headlights. So we're gonna check those out next. All right, so we're here with the Oculus Bi-LED headlights. So Oracle was the first company to offer a true nine inch headlight specifically designed for the Jeep Wrangler JL and Gladiator. Of course, we've got our traditional matte black housings here with our white halos. And uh, you've got the headlights that just have a super sharp cutoff line and then the high beams, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, the high beams, of course, are really bright, but when the high beams are off, you don't have a lot of glare. It's not until you hit the high beams that you really get that glare, and that's the way the lights are designed to work. Uh, what's cool about these is that, like we showed earlier, is that they have the switchback function. So when you have your turn signals on, they do a switchback, and 
Uh, you don't have to have any sort of real special wiring for this. Everything's plug and play, plugged into the factory connector. No splicing, no dicing, no nothing. Really simple install. That's the switchback version, but we also have several other versions of the Oculus Lights, and sometimes people get a little bit confused. So let's take a minute and just go through all the different options that we have for Oculus. We just saw the matte black finish, so that gives you a nice black finish, but you know, we also offer a uh, graphite color, and the graphite works really well with the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and the Gladiator Rubicon because it has graphite accents around the headlight trim and around the grill. So the graphite really complements that well. Uh, we also have silver. Silver is found on the Sahara around the bezel trims around the headlights and around the grill. So these headlights work really well with Sahara. They also look really good just on any Jeep, but the Sahara is especially uh, complimentary just because it uh, has a real similar uh, color on uh, some of the other accents on the vehicle. Uh, what we recently introduced is our heated lens version of the Oculus. So uh, a lot of people up north, they want to run halogen lights because halogen heats up and it de-ices the headlights naturally. LEDs don't really put up a lot of heat, so it's challenging in the winter to be able to run LED headlights. With this, you get the best of both worlds. You get the high output LEDs that you want uh, to be able to see well, but you also get a heater function that de-ices the lens and uh, you know, if, if it, it prevents any kind of snow buildup or icing, so you have you know, as much visibility as you can get if there's a snowstorm or something like that. And then of course, we've got our switchback again right here, and then our LED color shift. So uh, the color shift has all kind of cool color changing features, but when you're on the road driving normally and you just need a daytime running light, it switches daytime running light, you pull into the Jeep meet or you go on your Jeep cruise and you've got your outside halo here that has a uh, RGBW LED setup in it. You have an inner halo and a demon eye. So you have three different LED lighting elements in there creating this RGB effect. You can set it up for these to run different colors like they are now, or you can set them so they all run the same color. If you just have a theme where you just want everything to be blue, easy enough, it could do that too. Uh, this pairs really well with the Oracle BC1 LED controllers makes uh, controlling everything real simple. So that pretty much covers Oculus. I hope that clarifies some of the confusion with all the different models that we offer now, but we really want to have something that fits everything that somebody uh, potentially wants to do. And so that means we have to carry a lot of different lights. Uh, what's really exciting is that this, as we mentioned before, is a nine inch light. We now offer this in a seven inch light, so the guys with the JKs don't feel left out. Uh, we actually got those over here. We'll check those out next. All right, so the new seven inch Oculus combines all the same great features that we talked about before. Super sharp, cut off line, really nice light output. The LED halo, but it puts in a seven inch package so you can fit it in, you know, Jeep Wrangler JK, TJ, classic vehicles. And, uh, you know, we've got these in the matte black right now, but we also have this available now in the switchback and color shift. So doing some more expanding on different options for the seven inch as well now. While we're on Jeeps, another very popular product for Jeeps is our LED wheel rings. So right here we have our dynamic LED wheel rings. They do these motion patterns as controlled through an app. The wheel rings are really cool because it lights up the suspension, it lights up the wheels. It really has like kind of a, a different effect than like a traditional underbody light. These particular ones are really simple to install. They attach to the back side of the dust shield. All the wiring's there. Each ring has an insulated set of cables that comes out, waterproof ends that plug into a waterproof coupler. Those go to the controller. The controller has two wires, connect to the positive and negative on the battery, open the phone, turn it on, and you're done. So uh, simple installation, makes a really big impact. Uh, this fits most vehicles, except if you have something like a 17 inch wheel, we have a slightly smaller size that will fit better with a 17 inch wheel. Uh, but yeah, this will fit uh, most vehicles, most Jeeps, but uh, if you have smaller wheels, we got you covered. Even if you have really small wheels, like on a UTV or ATV, we actually have that covered as well. All right, so perhaps one of the most popular vehicles we've seen here at this year's SEMA show is the new Ford Bronco. So we do have Bronco parts, lots of stuff in development, but this is something that's been getting a lot of attention. So we have our illuminated LED letters. We have the entire alphabet, A to Z. So if you want to customize your vehicle, even if it's not a Bronco, you could add these uh, LED letters. You could put your name. You could put, for instance, I mean, our Bronco at the, at the shop says Oracle on the front of it, and uh, it's a pretty cool look. So. Uh, there's a couple of vehicles here that are kind of testing these out for us in beta, so we st hope to start shipping these uh, in about a month. So uh, look for them in December. And uh, yeah, besides that, we've got a few other Bronco products that are here, and we've got a ton of stuff that's in development. So we just saw our popular Oculus headlights, so we're developing those for the Bronco as well. Our flush taillights that have been a big hit, going on the Bronco as well. LED rock lights, a really cool integrated roof light bar system, and other 
Very interesting lighting projects coming from Oracle Lighting for the 2021 Bronco, so be on the lookout for those. All right, so we looked at some other Oracle Dynamic Color Shift products. The Ford Mustang S550 lights are also really popular. So this is a complete headlight replacement. The headlights have this nice blacked out look, smoke side markers, really nice. So you control all the lights on this through, uh, through an app. So basically you can turn on your lights, you got white daytime running light for uh, normal street driving. But then, uh, you know, if you go into like a uh, car show or a cruise, we got all kind of different LED colors as well. But what's really cool about this, since this is our dynamic color shift, is that we have over 200 pre-programmed options on here to do all kind of cool motion uh, 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 lighting effects. You've got different patterns and uh, pretty much uh, out of these 200 different effects, you can find something that fits any kind of color theme on a vehicle. Uh, some of these get really wild, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, for a turnkey package, it's really nice. You just install the headlights, plug in the wiring harness, connect the controller to positive negative on the battery, open the app, and that's it. That's the total extent of the entire installation. And uh, what's also really nice about this is that we have a sequential turn signal effect. So just like the taillights have that se sequential effect, we've kind of mimicked that in the headlight as well. So uh, yeah, it's got a factory daytime running light style setup. It's got the turn signal. It's got all the colors and patterns you can possibly imagine. So really cool product. We've got these in stock and we're already shipping them. So uh, be on the lookout for that. While we're on the subject of Ford headlights, uh, another popular one here is the Bronco. So uh, 2021 Bronco uh, up there, we've got our color changing LED DRL kit in there. So basically uh, you take out the factory circuit board that uh, powers the factory DRL, install our RGB color shift circuit board, and you get this really cool ability to change the factory halo uh, to all sorts of different colors. And here are our Gladiator taillights. So similar to the ones that we saw on the JL, we've got a flush design here, signature light, super bright reverse light, sensor capability, plug and play system. So yeah, these J, uh, JT Gladiator lights have been uh, really popular. We've uh, already started shipping these and uh, yeah, we're, uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of them that, uh, that have been ordered. So we're trying to just keep up with orders right now, but, but yeah, definitely something that, that's very popular. And then we've got our sidetrack here. So we looked at the sidetrack on the JL earlier. This is our JK sidetrack. So real similar looks, but uh, we actually integrate the JL and Gladiator style vent into this product. So when it's installed on a JK, it has that vent that kind of carries over. It has the turn signal effect like we got before and the white entry light effect. So, I mean, this is a really nice black plastic rugged looking piece. So when it's installed, it has some character to it. You know, it doesn't, it's not just, doesn't look like a stick on it. Definitely looks more integrated uh, than it would if, uh, you know, it wasn't designed specifically for that application. And while we're over here, we might as well check out the new flush bumper LED light bar for the Ram TRX and Rebel. So uh, what this is, is basically a light bar that instead of just sticking a light bar on the bumper, bolting something on, just having it hang there, this actually integrates it into the bumper. So it mimics the shape of a platform on the bumper of the TRX and Rebel. So it seamlessly sort of integrates into it. Almost looks like it came from the factory that way. It doesn't restrict airflow. Installation's super simple. It just connects to the factory aux switches. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's something that, that we're really excited about and we're looking at other vehicles to potentially design something similar for. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at another new product that we have here at the SEMA show. Uh, this plow light features a daytime running light, has both low beam and high beam functionality, and has a signal light. And what's really cool about the signal light is that it's modular. So you can take the signal light, move it to the left hand side, right hand side, top, really make it compatible for pretty much any application. Of course, it wouldn't be a plow light without an integrated heated lens. Uh, really a nice product for our friends up north that need to uh, be able to plow snow and have a nice, good, high quality LED light to go along with those plows. So uh, new product just launched at SEMA. Let's take a look at what else we got. So a lot of the new products that we've talked about have to do with uh, newer vehicles, new releases, but we still show love to our classic car owners. So we've got our glass seal beam lights with Oracle halos here. And on the other side, uh, we offer the seven inch headlights, five and three quarter, four by six, five by seven, all the popular sizes for your classic car or truck. You can get from Oracle Lighting, including Color Shift. We probably don't have time to go through every single one of these here today, but we've got a lot of new LED and uh, daytime running light type setups for all sorts of vehicles, especially late model trucks and muscle cars. Uh, we've got the new Silverado uh, 2500 right here. 
uh, you know, really big headlight, really big impact. So we've got some really cool daytime running lights in there uh, for the uh, newer Tundras. Uh, day, uh, dynamic uh, LEDs, get that motion pattern going through that perimeter DRL. Looks really nice. And of course, the Super Duties. Uh, lots of Super Duties out here at SEMA. And of course, we have lighting to match those wild rides that uh, you see everywhere out here at SEMA. And uh, something else really cool that we want to point out is on this side, we've got the C8 Corvette headlight. So of course, the C8 Corvette's been super popular. It's daytime running light, that's real nice and everything. But what's really cool about this product is the ease of installation because you don't have to open this headlight, you don't have to put it in the oven, you don't have to cut the lens off. And all you have to do is basically remove the heat sink off the back here, replace it with the Oracle Color Shift heat sink, two screws, put it back in, connect that to our controller, turn on your phone, and you could change your lights to any color you want. So really convenient. You don't even take the headlights out of the vehicle. You actually do this through the wheel liner. So super simple installation. And we're starting to uh, adapt more and more products like this, uh, such as the new Supra, uh, the Tesla's Model 3 over here. So uh, we've got a uh, technology now that, that's making it uh, easier to interact with the factory daytime running light and making the user experience a lot better because you're not having to do a lot more work than you have to. So really excited about that. We've got a lot of headlights here, but if you're trying to look for a headlight for your particular vehicle, we encourage you to check out oraclelights.com to try to find the products that's specific to what you're looking for. Be sure to check out our other videos to see some of our other new products. And next year, we hope to see you here at the SEMA Show.